In Nebraska's city, a different kind of farm, one you might expect closer to the west or east coast. A couple is growing a crop not seen around here, even though before this venture, they've never grown more than just a few vegetables in a home garden. Chronicle's Julie Cornell shows us how they're making a splash in the farm to table concept. On this Nebraska city farm, there's an unusual mailbox. The story of how the farm came to be really is a fish tale. Our ongoing joke is I was in labor and I couldn't say no to anything. <laughs> Mimi and Keel Vanderveen stand between rows of salad greens. A red butter, green butter. Uh, we have our Monte Carlo, which is like a small head romaine. Their toddler, Sylvia, will grow here too. As his first child was being born, so was Keel's idea. Our daughter loves this place. It's, it's like a giant playground for her. Two years ago, Keel, a financial planner, visited a farm in California. On the way back, we drew it out on a napkin. But his vision was for more than a greenhouse. You get your uh, small roots going. Keel's idea? Cast a wide net. It's not small. <laughs> He's growing Atlantic salmon in the heartland of America. There's no reason we need to fly in our fish or our greens from the coast or another country. If, if we can deliver that within a 100 mile radius, we're going to be we're going to be thrilled. Inside these recycled silos are 50,000 freshwater Atlantic salmon separated by size in 100,000 gallons of well water constantly filtered, monitored and circulated. Our fish should be completely indistinguishable from wild caught. Repurposed catwalks guide the fish farmer to his pools of opportunity. These are about five pounds and they'll be between eight and 10 by August. And this is your first harvest? Yes, it will okay. be, absolutely. Their company, Nebraska Vegetable and Protein is on track to grow 25 tons of salmon a year and 13 tons of greens. The fish food is sourced locally. It grows nearby. So it's a byproduct of the ethanol industry that okay. goes into the feed. And Keel's workers are homegrown too. Wes Hansen is a recent wildlife ecology graduate. After about a year, they reach about a pound. Wow. And then from the after the first year, they will gain a pound a month, roughly. Von Hammond has extensive experience in aquaponics. Keel and Mimi's drive to make this happen is is, is really amazing. I mean, it's a it's a change in lifestyle. This system of growing food feeds itself, literally, with fish waste fertilizing the vegetables and trays of greens float on top of the enriched water. It's ideal, yeah, very ideal. It's sustainability right down to the scraps from the greens. Stems and roots are used as chicken feed. We want to relocalize food production and connect people to the people that grow their food. The Vanderveens say they're proud to be those people, planting a fresh idea in local food. It's been really cool to, to watch one of his dreams, and it's, it's a dream that benefits our whole community. Casting a dream to offer the catch of the day for families just like his. You don't need to go to the coast to get outstanding seafood. You can get it right here in Nebraska. Thank you to Julie Cornell for that report. And customers were quick to cast their nets for the new filet in town proving there's a market in Nebraska for more than just beef. I think I'm putting them out on the grill. Salt and pepper and a little lemon, Keel said, so sounds good. This is video from the Keel's first harvest of Atlantic salmon in August, producing basket loads of the pink fillets and an ocean of possibilities for the Nebraska city salmon farmers. The fish in the cooler back there were swimming yesterday. Um, now they can be on your plate tonight. How about that? Remember, if you missed any part of this show or want to watch it again, it's available on the very local app. All KETV News Watch 7 reports are there on demand, and it's all free. Download the app for Roku, Amazon Fire, or anywhere you find your apps. I'm Bill Shammer. Thanks for watching. We'll see you back here next Sunday morning for KETV News Watch 7's Chronicle.